Hello everyone and welcome to CNCF Minutes. In this video, we'll be discussing about Crossplane. So Crossplane is a CNCF sandbox project and a very interesting tool, very cool tool. Um, I think the kind of next gen infrastructure provisioning tool. So it is basically used to provision infrastructure using the Kubernetes API. So basically the first Kubernetes API way of creating the infrastructure. So I'm not talking about creation of pods, deployment, which is regular infrastructure, uh, native objects. I'm talking about creating the infrastructure in various cloud vendors using the Kubernetes API. Uh, so it's, it's basically you you install it uh, via your Helm install stuff and uh, then you declare some YAML files, the C custom resources. Uh, so it's declarative in nature. Uh, so it's more native to the folks who have been provisioning uh, kind of resources or Kubernetes objects. So you'll find it pretty easy. Uh, then accessible via kubectl. So you can use your kubectl command line to you know query uh, the status and uh, creating the resources self-healing as it is using the kind of Kubernetes um, uh, API, Kubernetes resources, uh, the controllers basically. Single source of truth, uh, so it can integrate with your CI CD systems uh, and it, it's kind of a true GitOps way. So you can have your Git repository, you can have your uh, uh, the resources stored over there and the custom resources and then any changes on top of it can trigger the controllers and it will be you know uh, maybe using Argo or Flux whatever the CICD tool that you are using with your Kubernetes. Uh, it is controller based so the the Kubernetes is you know very much having the desired state and uh, what, what I need in the desired state so that is where the controllers pitch in uh, so and it the cross plane takes the benefit of this. So that is why it it you know it can do your health um, monitoring, scaling, and the failover of the um, uh, resources. So for example, I create a Kubernetes cluster using cross plane, and if I delete or if someone manually deletes from the UI, then again uh, the controllers will sync that and create the resource. That's the power, and that is that you not you do not get out of the box with other infrastructure provisioning tools like Terraform, Pulumi, which are out there right now. Uh, so Crossplane takes the uh, power of, uh, with the power of these controllers, reconciliation loop, it automatically uh, detects that this resource has to be there, the des desired state had, has to be there and it is not. So it goes ahead and again creates that. Uh, application and infrastructure uh, configurations coexist. Uh, so yes, you define your infrastructure CRDs in your same Kubernetes cluster and you can define your application configuration in the same Kubernetes cluster. Uh, it reduces the complexity of tools. Obviously you are using just Kubernetes and you're using the same tooling for both. Uh, extensibility, so you can extend uh, your crossplane uh, with respect to the policies, quotas, and permissions. Now you can use the existing tools, which is OPA and other uh, policy agent tools like QBOD and JS policy, Kiverno, and in enforce policies uh, with respect to the uh, custom resources uh, that are there in crossplane. So since it is Kubernetes native, so all the Kubernetes native tooling can be used for uh, cross plane so you can define policies and and you know what not and uh, policies yeah policy engine power we have discussed about that and restrict the creation of exit sources in particular namespace and all that stuff so this is a very important point like making use of the kubernetes reconciliation power for provisioning the infrastructure that is very 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 a cool feature so on a very high level, there are kind of five steps uh, that make your cross-plane stuff works. So you have a local Kubernetes cluster or you can have a, a simple minimal Kubernetes distribution cluster in, in any of the VMs out there, or you can just have a kind cluster, it, it works. So you have a Kubernetes cluster, then you install cross-plane over on top of it. Then you install the plugin. So since there are different uh, cloud vendors, so there are different cloud plugins. Uh, so in this particular example, we'll be using Sivo, uh, and you can you know use any of the AWS, Azure, uh, Google, so any of the plugins. Then we provide uh, the provider configurations. So we give the uh, the configurations like the secrets and all that stuff. So this is the provider configuration, and then we actually create the resource. So here is the actual resource that uh, we need to provision in the cloud infrastructure using Crossplane, uh, and we'll provide that to the Kubernetes API, and then the Crossplane controller will do all the magic and create the infrastructure using credentials that we have configured just before. So that's how it works. 
very important feature that I want to talk about in Crossplane is composition. Um, not many talk about it, but it's uh, a really, really, really powerful feature. Making infrastructure easy uh, to create across clouds. Now you are an infrastructure person and you can create a lot of things, but what if you want to empower your other colleagues or other consumers, end users, whatever you want to call them, uh, to create the cluster uh, or to create the resources very easily. Uh, for example, uh, let's take two personas over here. So we have an infrastructure persons that that are you know well well versed with the infrastructure. They know how to create everything, and then you have the consumer end users or the developers. Now, what we want is the developers uh, to create a minimum configuration. So developer just say that I want a MySQL instance or I want a Kubernetes cluster with with these parameters. So this will be the size, this will be the name, and this is the cloud that I need to uh, create this particular resource. So as a developer, I only define this particular custom resource. Now, behind the scenes, as an infrastructure person, I have created two, two things with respect to the composition. And when I apply this particular custom resource, my resource gets created in a particular cloud. Isn't that amazing that I just define, define very few parameters and that too I can define default values if nothing is specified in the spec section and uh, you know it gets created automatically. Now, how that magic happens is using the composition. So as an infrastructure uh, person, you would define the uh, composite resource definition. So these are the set of properties and these will be linked directly over here. So these are the properties. So composition of resources uh, and what the devs or the consumers can create via these properties. So this, this was what comes in the uh, composite resource definition. So you define what all resources can be created and what all the properties that uh, the end users can define. Now, how we can map that uh, to different cloud vendors. So I, I have told like, if I, if I say the cloud name over here, uh, then it automatically creates that. Now, how does that happen? It happens via the composition. So composition are cloud specific resources and the composition will be created for different cloud vendors depending on different uh, things. Like for example, uh, there can be different uh, authentication or authorization uh, mechanism for one particular cloud uh, and that has to be handled over here. And these properties are again mapped uh, in, in this particular file as well. Like what would be the size? So it goes like this. So that is, that is how the composition, the composition resource definition. And then in the end, you just create a minimum configuration, minimum custom resource with very specific parameters to create the cluster. And behind the scenes, all the complex things are managed using composition. So that's how the end users get a very good experience and you are enabling uh, your end users, consumers, developers with this particular power. So yeah, that's that's, that's what Crossplane is. That's what some of its cool features are and that's what makes it more powerful. Let's see Crossplane in action. Uh, so I have a Kubernetes cluster and I've already added a Helm repo. I have installed the Crossplane uh, components and I have installed the uh, Crossplane um, CLI as well. So kubectl Crossplane uh, plugin as well. And I have installed the Crossplane provider as well. So in this case, we are using Sivo. I can run it again, it will throw an error because it already exists. Uh, now what we'll do is uh, let's see uh, the provider. So we said that we have a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we have uh, the cross plane installed. So kubectl get pods hyphen n cross plane system. So we have those pods uh, which are running and now we have plugin installed. Now we'll do the provider config. So let's see what is there in the provider uh, configurations. So we create a secret uh, which is used to authenticate. This is a base 64 encoded. We create a provider config like uh, this is a provider. This is the region credentials as per the, uh, you know, uh, the provider which is there. Uh, then what we do is we create the actual resource which is in this case would be the cluster. So I say that I need to uh, use this API uh, custom resource, which is, which is uh, in uh, API version uh, this, and then I give a name uh, in the specification and give the instances, size, applications that has to be installed uh, and the provider configuration uh, reference, which is Zebo provider. So what I do is now uh, I do a kubectl apply hyphen F uh, cluster, and I just, happen to create a Kubernetes cluster, a Sivo Kubernetes cluster. Now, how I can check that, uh, I can actually go to in Sivo uh, dashboard and if I refresh, uh, it's already creating the cluster. Uh, and I also I can use a kubectl get Sivo Kubernetes. 
I see that the cluster is being created and the application that is getting installed is Rancher. So that's how simple it is to create the cluster. And uh, you know, even, even if I try to um, remove this particular cluster from here, I delete it, it will again reconcile, uh, use the power of that, and it will again uh, recreate the cluster. So I can see uh, in, in some minutes or in some seconds, it will uh, automatically come over here. So you can see the, the cluster creation has started again. So this is what Crossplane is. And uh, if you want a deep dive session on any of the um, things like uh, composition, how that works, or Crossplane uh, deep dive, there is there was actually a Crossplane deep dive video, which is already there. So if you want um, any of the deep dive on any of the other sections, then do leave a comment and let uh, me know how uh, you use Crossplane. And uh, with that, uh, do not forget to subscribe, like, share if you like the video. And thank you for watching. See you in CF Minutes. See you in the next one.